What's up, y'all? So, here we are, man. Sad to say, but we are at Daisy's last episode. And we still have a ton of work to, you know, to do. And so, here what we have is all the materials we need to get this thing done. We've chosen to go with the Exalta, their Spees line. I know um, Spees has been around for a super long time. I know it's a great product. So... I'm excited to use it. So you'll see a little bit of work. We're going to try to show you a little bit of some of the stuff, what it looked like before compared to what it looks like now, in case you don't remember. No, but we, um, Chrome is not finished getting Chrome, so we're not going to be able to have that to put it on either way. Right. Our deadline to get it out of here. That is true. We so. did find out that the Chrome shop, you know, they're so backed up. It's all good. We're not worried about it. As long as we get to deliver our part, which is deliver a nice truck. Yo, that just happened. Final primer. Exciting. Yep. So next on the menu is the cab. Right now we're just hitting it with the scuff pad, hitting all the little cracks, making sure that everything is scuffed. One more step closer to paint. I like your little block. <laughs> <laughs> it is little. It's tiny. No, it is, but look at this, though. Small little detail, but it's flat. And it's it's the see. perfect size, though. No, it really is. You know, working with my dad, I've been able to look at some of his blocks that he has. And <laughs> they're old, but they're all handmade. And he's got every block for every situation, no matter how small. Every crack and crevice you could find. Yeah, you know, he's got a block for it. Nice. What's cool about wax and grease remover is you can actually see what it's going to look like in clear coat or get an idea of, oh, sorry, <laughs> what it's going to look like in clear coat. Do you want to see on the side of it? Man, let me look first. Whoo! Okay, yeah, y'all can look. I'm pretty <laughs> proud of that. No, for real. Okay. So you see my little bottle? Over there on my um, thing. On your dolly. On my dolly. Yeah, just follow it right here. Or see the wheels and just follow it down. Not too bad. That is what we are looking for. Okay, now we'll wipe it down. We'll mask it off and shoot some of this high value primer or high solid primer. <laughs> And then here, I showed you all this is straight. I'm not going to reprimer this again. You primed that twice, though, right? Yep, sure did. I really didn't even want to do this, but man, sometimes I need to teach myself how to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, it's I know. The finished product. Nobody's ever going to see back here. But well, technically, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Technically, yes, they will. Okay, so I am very proud that I am one of the only shows that will show you. We body work the back of the truck and we body work the front of the bed. <laughs> yeah, we'll tape it first and then tape and paper it. All right, well, let me get some tape and head over. Hey, get some tape. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see what I have to deal with? What's the difference between the white paper and the green paper? Well, the green paper, it's got little fibers in it. So once you shoot your first coat of primer, everything hair up, you know, like they, they start to ball up, the materials hit over it, and then once you... 
the air hits it again, then they fly off into their paint. So, I don't even like hairs in my primer. <laughs> I always use white paper. It's a little bit higher than um, regular green paper, but well worth the quality because you can use it for primer and paint and you don't have to buy two different ones. So, oh, yeah. Hey, watch out. There's a door <laughs> in there. I know. <laughs> oh, I guess we should do the back window first before we uh, lock ourselves out. Oh, yeah. I'm just <laughs> overly excited to be to this point. And we still have a long ways to go, but a little bit of relief knowing that we're one huge step further. Yeah. So. We have a really cool project coming up next. Yeah. And it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we're doing chop classes. So, if anybody's interested in hosting or us hosting the chop class at your shop, Definitely hit us up. Here's our email. <laughs> okay, here we are. Look at this. Final primer. Yes, it is time. <laughs> It looks really good, like it really does. So, I hope you guys are excited as we are. Yeah. But we are approaching the finish line. Approaching the finish line. We're crawling to it, but we're <laughs> approaching it. And as y'all saw earlier, we still have a ton of material to go through. So, so hold on to your horses. We're going for a hold on, because here we go. Next step, install the doors. I mean, everything's in final primer already. So, um, well, except the fenders, but just a little bit of real estate there. We don't have much. I would have made, this wouldn't have been possible if my dad wouldn't have stepped in for real. He's really the unsung hero out of this. So. <laughs> day we have been waiting for this moment for a very long time and we are finally here we're going to paint we're going to paint <laughs> yes so when we switched over to exalta and we started using exalta products you know it's a learning process um, the only thing that had really left out um, exalta from letting us know was about the the clear. clear coat likes to be baked. That's the only thing, because if we were to shoot it in the shop the way we were planning, it would have probably took about three days to completely cure. And doing it here in the paint booth, in a professional downdraft paint booth with a <laughs> heater in there, 
We can bake it like some cookies in 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yep. Yeah. 30 minutes at 350 and we done. Yeah, so um, Exalta, I mean, NCS got us hooked up, of course. That's their, their rep. But Juan Mata came out and has just been absolutely phenomenal. And he hooked us up with Eric and Amy over at Sideways Collision in Lubbock, Texas. Shout out to them. Like, they Amazing opened up people. their doors. Amazing people. Um, welcomed us in and have allowed us to, to use their space. And so, for anybody that has a shop, you know that giving away space is, in a sense, like giving up, like, money. And so, for them to open up their home and allow us to come spray. And then they're even going to make us lunch today. <laughs> and keep your eyes peeled because we are going to be doing a chop class at sideways but we have a tentative date set but january 2025 be ready for we got another chop class coming. Yeah. so we brought some stuff from the shop and we have another truck that's loaded up and then we're gonna get a flatbed get everything over here get it all one and done you know what i mean okay sitting sideways <laughs> <laughs> i love it Put it in there. All right, we're good. Yeah. yeah, when you showed me that yesterday, I didn't know it was a super bird. I, I yeah. saw it was a Mopar, you know what I mean, or, or a road runner, but I didn't know it was a super bird. That's cool. All right, here we are. We're about to get started on some of this prepping. Probably pick the rest of the parts up, come out here, get them prepped, try to get some of this stuff jammed today so we can just move on to the tops and get all these tops covered up. Everything looks really good, really feels nice and straight, smooth. So I think we are heading in the right direction, so. We got a special delivery. Daisy has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? It's going good. Whew. Final blocking. Man, I'm telling you, that's all I got. My shoulder's almost gone. Yo, right elbow gave out on Wednesday, left elbow last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> so today's the day. Today's the day, yeah. All right, we got half of her in the paint booth. Half of it's in the paint booth already. We're working on the second half out here, getting it ready. I have a couple of pieces I'm going to reprimer just because it's got to be straight. It doesn't matter at all costs. It's got to be straight. Even if we have no time, we just got to make it. You know what I mean? So that's what we're doing. At the end of the day, we just want to deliver something great. And I think we chose the perfect team to help us finish it out, you know? Agreed. Very much so. Agreed. <laughs> When you think you're done blocking, you move into paint prep, and it's more blocking. Yeah, it's done more blocking, <laughs> for real. And what's worse, I think worse to me, is power blocking, because we're trying to finish it, you know what I mean? Like, so it's yeah. basically non-stop blocking. What are we, day two now, non-stop blocking? Actually, all week long we've been blocking. But we do have stuff in paint. Like, this is all the prep work. So there is stuff in paint, and this is all the finished prep. Yep. Been a ton of fun and a lot of work. Yep. It's going to so. be very nice to be able to deliver this vehicle next week. I'm so looking forward to it. I want to thank the guys again out here at Sideways Collision. Staying out here late. They could have gone home at 5 o'clock like yeah, everybody look, guys, else. Yeah, guys, sun is setting. And they are graciously allowing us to stay into the wee hours of the night. It is 8 o'clock, by the way, so just so y'all know. Yeah. And then real quick, we're going to cross the street. And then I'm going to show y'all. Here is our next chop victim. Look at her. She's ready and waiting. Ah, gorgeous. So 
Again, keep a lookout on our socials because this one's going to be coming up. Um, again, like I said, I believe the tentative date that we have set is going to be January 17th. exhaustion um we are in the final stages this is the last thing to go to paint is the cab on oh, the fenders right right the cab, cab and, and the fenders, fenders are left and, and yeah and so whew, ladies and gentlemen this block party has come to an end we are finished blocking we survived it barely i feel like so I got rolled out of bed today. That's all I had was to just roll out of bed. Yeah, no, exactly right. Pure exhaustion. Um, I don't ever recommend anybody do this for real. <laughs> not, not in the time. Not frame. in the time crunch. So we, yeah. we had a deadline, and um, we are meeting the deadline. We're meeting the deadline. On the deadline. Man, it hurt. Yeah. When I got home last night, I was still thinking about sanding. <laughs> I told her it was gonna happen. I'm waking up blocking and I'm like, oh, I'm at home already. Yeah. I to change my mic spot. I feel like my face is hitting it. I hope my voice doesn't come out too loud. I know I talk way louder than Alan and definitely way more country. <laughs> Little bit more country. When I get excited or if I'm like talking fast, she goes country. I can't help it. It's West Texas, y'all. Right. Country is what country does. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't express like the excitement though of how this feels to know that like this is the finish line folks we see it we haven't we haven't broken through the the finish line tape but it feels like it but we are in the lead by hair let me give you all a little let me give you all a little peep show of what we got going on Beautiful. Look at that. We got color, ladies and gentlemen. A sneaky for you. Looks super good in some color, folks. Ah, oh, so good. All right, we're gonna jump into time lapse. Because even come out yet ladies and gentlemen all right so we are back here this morning and we ran out of a hardener over the weekend so we were kind of forced to take a little pause for a cause so we're coming in this morning and we're going to get everything wrapped up that has finished 
Ah, so yes, folks, a ton of work. Still jump into the making it on the deadline, but we have a lot of work to do today. We went this morning um, to go get more paint supplies. We were painting over the weekend and we had to come to an abrupt stop because we ran out of hardener. Right, and just <clears throat> for the record, like Juan, the exalted rep, called everyone in town and no one had this hardener. Somebody gave us a dash <laughs> of a court, you know what I mean, which got us through Saturday night. Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon, right? So and there is a possibility. Um, well, for one, hey, this is her last episode. And so we're definitely not going to show y'all unfinished pieces because we've already kind of given you a sneak peek, but we weren't anticipating to run out of material and um, that was one thing when we switched over to Exalta and not knowing how much we would need on mixing ratios right. is where you know we got a little set apart and so you know it's no big deal but when they gave us we were a court shy yeah. and, and then also we're at the mercy of the shop because this is a this is a business that we're at you know what I mean and they they open the doors to let us in and we're at their mercy if they got to get collision out we're out of the way until they get done yeah Once so they... we're we're actually put off until about four o'clock today before we can even jump in the booth and so that's why you know either way y'all are going to see this truck it's going to look great but this clear right now we've we've left the summer heat we are it is 64 degrees outside where we're at and um that clear activates at 70. <laughs> So we deactivate, or deactivate yeah, the deactivate. 70 degrees. So we would have deactivated under yeah. 70 degrees. The activator stops working. And we're like, well, why didn't they tell us that from the beginning? So, they knew we were going to shoot it in the shop. So, yeah, so, so again, I know we keep on saying like shout out to Sideways. Um, but again, we are super gracious because we are occupying, you know, not only the paint booth when, you know, and right, park right. space. Mm -hmm. You know, just think about it. If you let anyone into your house for a couple of days even. It's an expense. It's an expense. No matter what, how you look at it, even if it's time, it's an expense. So for them, we were supposed to be there for two days. And now we're on day five, right? When yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So now we're day five. Sorry, small and intermission. He's actually going to go. We're going right now um, because everything is prepped. Everything is masked off. Everything like we are, we got all the materials. All we're waiting for is the booth. We got a couple of hours to kill. So in the meantime, we are on our way to make a panel <laughs> for Eric, the owner of Sideways Collision. Because hey, owner is also an appropriate means of uh, yes. repaying and your thanks and offering a skill. So he has a 1940 Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Yeah, super cool. Needs a, a floor panel. Yep. Here it is, Lynn. So we have a template. I made my template. You guys know what that is. <laughs> a very detailed template. So we're here back at the shop. Um, kind of just after we updated y'all that we had gone in this morning and we bought more hardener. Yeah. Um, the only good news is my shop looks empty. <laughs> So, unfortunately, um, our sealer fish eyed. Um, first coat. On the first coat. So, we cannot paint today. Another day of setbacks again. Yeah. So, now we are rolling into Tuesday when we um, we're hoping to be assembling tomorrow and we're still attempting to paint. So, we were, we had first thing this morning at 8, we had. Um, the hardener, the booth did not open up until 4 p.m. and our first coat of sealer fish eyed. So we just called it a night and we're gonna go in in the morning and well, you'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll all see. We're getting it done tomorrow, no matter what, <laughs> at all costs. That's right. 
Okay, real quick, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and we're gonna check out Daisy and what she looked like when she first came into the shop. Say hello to Daisy. 1962 Dodge D100. This thing here came with three engine options, two inline sixes, which nobody cares about, and a cool 318. All right, we're back in the booth this morning. We're sending down the fish eyes with 600. We're gonna get this girl scuffed up and get ready to lay down some paint today. Finally, we got Alan in the booth laying down some base coat. We're going to get ready to shine this girl up. Okay, you guys see we're still here. Right behind me you see the truck in the paint booth. I'm about to spray clear coat on there. Um, you know, we've had some just unforeseen problems, you know what I mean? We tried our hardest, we tried to make it to the finish line, pressured ourselves, pushed ourselves, tried to get as much work as we could squeeze in. We came out here, these guys have been helping us. Like, it's just crazy the amount of support and help we get from really strangers. We didn't know any of these people before we came here and now we feel like we're family with these guys. We're family after a week of being here. <laughs> right and every day we feel like we're in the way, we're in the way and they're like no you guys are welcome you know what I mean like and it's just it's an awesome greatest feeling for real. it really is. The car industry is probably one of the best industries in the entire world. And but we've run out of time for Daisy. But yes at the end of the day we have run out of time we're not gonna be able to show y'all Daisy put together complete because like I said, look, I'm still in the paint booth, <laughs> you know? And, um, but keep an eye out for our socials because once we get her put together, we're gonna start posting. We wish we could have put her on the video, right, but. Right, right. You know, I've got my Instagram, I've got my Facebook. I've got a TikTok, but I don't ever use it. But um, yeah, just keep an eye out. We'll be definitely sharing pictures because we want everybody to see we wish I could have made it complete on this episode, but for she's still time, baking. <laughs> right, the time crunch we had, plus a little bit of issues that we had. You know what I mean? It, it's all working out, but it just takes time. And honestly, the more time you take on a vehicle, the better it looks. So, you know, it's kind of in a good way that it's not being completely rushed that bad, but same time I mean what do you say you know? yeah we have to go for quality over the time crunch on this one so unfortunately exactly. that's she's... more important to us yeah than trying to make the date so and even if we would have made the date we're still missing bumpers and rubbers and glass so it, it would have been a partial you know reveal reveal <laughs> yeah yeah but so thanks for tuning in learned. thank you guys for tuning in I hope you guys follow us and check us out for season three. We have a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up in season three. And we'll just keep this ball rolling, you know what I mean? Thank you very much. And from the bottom of my heart and Laura's heart, and Thank see y'all next time.